What is going on Shwayze gang? In today's video, we are going to be discussing four things that have already broken or maybe don't work quite like they should on the 2021 Ford Bronco. Now before we discuss the four things that are actually somewhat broken or don't quite work as well as they should on the 2021 Ford Bronco, I wanted to quickly discuss how reliable and impressed I am with this vehicle. I mean, all things considered, this is the very first version of the sixth generation Bronco and for it to only have four very minor issues, some of which can be fixed with a software update and some which I will have to go back to the dealer for, that is still really impressive. And anytime you buy the very first version of a new car, you are bound to face some sort of issue. And I expected that coming into the purchase of this vehicle. I knew it wouldn't be perfect. I knew there may be some little things that I'd have to get used to. And all in all, I have been very impressed with this car. And these are just four things I wanted to point out from someone who has owned this car for about six months now, uh, around mid-January will be six months exactly, and I have put almost 4,000 miles on this SUV. So overall, I'm thoroughly impressed, but there are some things that need to be fixed. And I'm gonna start with the first one in no particular order, and that has to do with the soft top. Now, I have mentioned this in previous videos, but I will need to go back to the dealership and address this tear in the soft top. My entire finger can actually fit in here and I can feel the plastic edging uh, hiding behind this piece over here. And even though I haven't noticed any leaks uh, driving around in the snow and in the wet weather, um, I still definitely want to get that addressed because if that's not fixed, I could see it developing into an even larger hole and then causing more problems down the line. So that's something I am definitely going to have to fix. And that is the first problem that I have noticed on the 2021 Ford Bronco. Now for the second issue, we're actually going to have to point towards the driver's side window. Now when you open this door, the window actually slides down about an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch so that it can clear this weather stripping over here so that when it's raining or snowing, obviously water does not enter into the cabin. What I have noticed over time though is as this window lowers, and I get back into the vehicle, I find that after entering and exiting the vehicle about 20 or 30 times, when I'm driving down the road, I will hear a louder than normal amount of wind noise. And what I realize is the driver's window has actually slid down a little bit, not enough to let any water or lots of wind inside the cabin, but enough that I can definitely hear a difference in the inside of the car. And what I end up doing is actually using these window switches to pull up the driver's side window a little bit more. And it actually goes up about an eighth or a quarter inch every time I do that, which signifies that the window has been slowly coming down. Now, I haven't noticed this with any of the other windows inside the cabin. And even though I don't open the passengers or the rear side doors that often, I think at this point, after owning it for six months, I would have noticed the same issues on the other windows. But for now, it's just been a driver's side issue. And that's definitely something that the dealership can adjust. And I've heard other Broncos that have had these things fixed, but that is something I'm gonna have to go back to the dealership for along with the issue with the soft top. Now, by no means is this a big issue, but it is something I have noticed which contributes to the loudness in the cabin. And all it takes is for me just to use my finger to hit the window switch, but something I have to pay attention to over time. Now for the third issue, I'm actually gonna have to turn the car on. Now for the third issue, I'm actually talking about the center display. Now it's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see these little lines that are coming down on the center screen. Uh, they're not very visible, they're kind of faint, but they come and go in different sizes and different severity. For example, when I take this car for a drive, you will notice that when I turn on the adaptive cruise control, the lines actually get a little worse. The weird thing is the lines show up in different places. So I know it's not a screen issue, but more of a software problem. I just turned on the lane keep assist and it looks like the lines are in the same spots they were before. And now I've switched into the day mode by simulating sunlight using my phone 
and uh, you can see the lines are still in the same spot and they may be a little bit more noticeable in the day mode than at night because you have that blue screen in the background but there are other times where the lines are very distinctly visible and I'm going to try to throw up some footage on the screen right now that I'm going to try to film throughout this week to show you what I'm talking about because these are very very faint lines and oftentimes it gets a lot worse than this and it almost gets pretty distracting it looks like my screen has wrinkles in it but when I turn off the lane key assist button they all of a sudden disappear and that's what makes me believe that it is more of a software issue than it is an actual screen issue now going off of the third issue the fourth problem that i have noticed periodically after owning this car for about six months has to do with some of the software glitches now it's hard for me to recreate and it's only happened probably two or three times since I took delivery of this car in July of 2021. But there are times where I turn this vehicle on after it's sat there for maybe a day or two or three and all of a sudden none of the switches or volume controls or anything, not even the touchscreen, works on this vehicle. So as you can see right now, I'm on a radio station and I can easily switch stations by pushing the buttons. But when I start facing some of these software glitches, no matter what I push on the screen, it stays on the same exact station. Uh, also, none of my air vent controls work. So even though I am pushing this switch down here, it doesn't show anything about fan speed or allow me to change any of the temperatures. Furthermore, even using the buttons on the steering wheel, like changing tracks or adjusting the volume up or down none of that worked for me there are just a couple things that worked for me when this happened the first time this happened I actually shut the entire car off turned it back on and after doing that two or three times it started working for me and the second time I did it I actually just gave it about five ten minutes of driving time and all of a sudden the system reset itself and started allowing me to push all these different buttons but both times that it happened were completely random I didn't push any buttons at startup or anything like that I didn't even use the remote start it was just me turning on the car and driving and all of a sudden the system would kind of glitch and not work for me now I actually think that the lines on the center display and the glitches on the screen could probably easily be fixed with just a minor software update and occasionally they do push out software updates without me even giving it permission to do so I will sometimes get an alert on the Ford Pass app saying my vehicle has been updated and some of those things include minor bug fixes like the ones I've explained now for certain they have not fixed the lines on the center display but they may have fixed the issues I had with the switches not working because it's been probably about a month since I faced that same problem, and so it may have just been a fix in the latest software update. Well, there you have it, folks. Those are the four issues that I have currently faced with the 2021 Ford Bronco. These are not issues that would persuade me from buying this car again. I am ultimately very, very happy with owning this 2021 Ford Bronco, and I'm actually surprised that the issues I'm facing are so small, considering this is the very first model year of a brand new generation vehicle. Luckily, some of these could easily be fixed with a software update and that's part of the reason why I wanted to make today's video is because if these issues are solved with the next software update then there's nothing for me to talk about but if this is your first time stopping by make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video let me know what questions you have on the 2021 Ford Bronco down in the comments below and I will be sure to address them in a future video so you got to make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all of the Bronco and Hellcat videos also find me on all the social media platforms links are in the description below and as always stay schwazy stay healthy and have a wonderful day